Hey Stuart, it's uh, Mr. Abbott. I'm uh, here this week to fill in for Mr. Marco for some science, and we're going to do a crater lab. Uh, I hope everybody is well. I miss everybody at Stuart. Um, this is a tough time for everybody. Uh, I'm here with my buddy Wilson. Um, he's gonna help me out filming this uh, video. So he just told me that he can see the moon, so I'm gonna look up and see. Do you guys see it? Up, oh, there it is way out there. Oh my gosh, Wilson saw the moon. Wilson, you were right. I didn't believe him at first, but he was right. The moon is still out this morning. So anyway, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna talk about craters. Does anybody know what a crater is? Wilson, we know you know what a crater is, all right? Craters are bowl-shaped cavities in a moon or the earth formed by asteroids and meteors. Um, yes, Wilson, we know. Yes, he got that right, he knew it. Um, so what we're gonna do today is we're going to see how different size meteors, bocce ball, golf ball, will affect the size of the crater. So let's think about this. If we look at the moon, and if you look at pictures of the moon, you see that the moon has thousands and thousands of craters all over it. And the moon is a lot smaller than the Earth. So why does the Earth have no craters? What's that, Wilson? It does have craters? Wilson's right. The Earth has craters too. The Earth has been hit by meteors over, over our 4.6 billion year history. We've been hit many times and there's 180 uh, that they can see on Earth. Now there's a reason that we can't see as many as the moon. Does anybody know why? I know Wilson knows. All right, there's three main reasons why we can't see as many craters on the Earth as we do on the moon. All right, the first one is tectonics. So at, over time, the Earth's rocks move. All right, and th that movement causes those craters that were there a long time ago to kind of disappear. Um, so the moon does not have tectonics. Now what Earth also has is erosion. We have wind, we have water, we have rain. The moon does not have that. So over time, 4.6 billion years, the wind, the water, the rain, um, you know, the soil, all that kind of erodes those craters that were once here. And then finally, uh, there's volcanoes. Volcanoes are another way that, you know, the lava spills out and covers up old uh, areas where we had uh, known craters or where they think. Now, what's that, Wilson? You have to go to the bathroom? I told you to go to the bathroom before we came out here. <sighs> Drives me nuts. I'll be back in a second. He has to use the bathroom. All right, guys, I'm back. Uh, you know, Wilson used the bathroom. Told him to do that before. He didn't listen. Um, I, I do want to thank Wilson for being there for me for these last uh, two months because without him, it's just me. Um, so anyway, we just we talked about what a uh, crater was. A crater is a bowl-shaped cavity in a moon or a planet caused by an asteroid or a meteor. And then we talked about that the Earth and the Moon have both been hit by tons and tons and tons and tons of meteors and asteroids over the years. But we can see the ones on the Moon, but we can't see the ones on Earth. And we talked about three reasons why. All right, so now we're going to, what's that, Wilson? You see a squirrel? He's joking. Wilson, you're such a jokester. Stop messing with me. I do have to keep my eye out for squirrels though. I'm in a very wooded area right now, so I do want to be on alert. Uh, you can never be too careful with squirrels. All right, so anyway, what we're gonna do is we're going to test out two different type craters on a beach volleyball court, okay? Um, so what, uh, we have some flat pieces of sand and I'm going to drop a bocce ball. This is the bocce ball and a golf ball this is my golf ball at, from the same exact height. And we're going to measure how bit, how much larger the crater is for the bocce ball than for the golf ball. Now, yes, Wilson, we know, you know, you can probably predict that the bocce ball is gonna create the, the larger crater, all right? And the golf ball, because it's smaller, is probably gonna uh, make the smaller crater. But what we wanna do is we wanna try it out. This is science, we do investigations all the time. 
and we got to try this out and see um, what you know the results are. All right, so I'm going to take my uh, people in my neighborhood are looking at me right now as I'm talking to a ball and filming myself. So they're all going to probably think I am crazy. It is what it is. All right, guys, I'm back. Uh, I had quite a number of people looking at me and I just I wanted to act normal for a second and kind of just pretend I wasn't talking to a ball with a face on it. Um, yes, Wilson, that's what you are. I thought Wilson was going to be a bigger help. He said he was going to film this for me. Forgot he had no arms. It is what it is. So he's here for, you know, just to give me a hard time and mess with me. But, you know, I appreciate his presence. All right, so I have more people looking at me. Oh my gosh. All right, tried to do this in the morning so that I could beat people out here, but not working. So I'm gonna take my golf ball and I'm going to drop it into the sand from the shoulder height, okay? And now we're going to take a look at this crater. All right, so if I remove the golf ball, it formed a crater in our moon. All right, so now I'm going to take this uh, roller and I'm going to measure the, the crater and it's about what two inches wide and maybe a half of it a half of an inch deep all right so now let's take a so remember that two inches wide half an inch deep now we're going to take the bocce ball if you guys have ever played bocce all right these are pretty heavy so we might see a lot of sand splatter here all right or moon splatter because this is our moon so anyway i'm going to take my bocce ball more people are watching this is not weird at all Stay away. Uh, scram. All right, I'm going to drop this. Ready, go. All right, now let's take a look at this. All right, this formed, it's not so deep because the sand is very compact, but you can tell right off the bat that it's about four, inch, four inches wide and probably an inch and a half, maybe two inches deep. All right, so all asteroids, all meteoroids are different over time. Um, most meteoroids or meteors are no bigger than a grain of sand. All right, a lot of people think the, they are these big balls of rock. They don't have to be, all right? But so there are tons of meteors that come into our atmosphere, but our atmosphere does a good job of protecting us. Um, but over, over time, we've had some larger ones come into our area. And in, in Arizona, you can see one of these craters. In Arizona, the state of Arizona, um, about 50,000 years ago, they predict, because nobody was around back then, that a crater, uh, that an asteroid hit our, the USA. All right, it wasn't the United States at the time, but that's where it is right now. So there's a large dome-shaped crater in Arizona where they believe was, cra uh, where they believe was uh, hit by a asteroid. All right, so we're gonna try this again. All right, we're, we always do stuff more than once. All right, we should do this once or uh, three times. So I'm gonna take my golf ball. All right, I'm gonna drop it again. Okay, if we look at it, it looks about the same type crater. All right, if I measure it again real quick, it's about two inches by a half inch. And then I'm gonna drop it one more time. Wilson, stop. Wilson teases me all the time. All right, drop it. All right, again, same type of crater, half, maybe two inches wide, half inch deep. All right, back to our uh, bigger bocce ball. So we're gonna drop this one. All right, again, we see a huge crater, probably four, five uh, inches wide, this one, and two, in a, two inches deep. And then let's drop this one more time. All right. Again, we see this the crater, all right, and this one is about four or five inches wide again, and let's say one in, one to two inches deep. All right, so clearly we can say, see that larger objects create larger craters, all right? So the moon, if you look at pictures of the moon, the big craters in the moon are caused by very large asteroids or meteoroids. And then the small craters are caused by smaller asteroids or meteors 
all right? So I wanted to thank everybody for letting me do uh, science this week. Uh, Wilson was very excited for this. He really wanted to see all you guys and, you know, he's been, I've, he's been talking about you guys for a long time now, but you know, so look at that smile on his face. Look how happy that guy is. It's hard to stay mad at him. You know, he jokes about squirrels. He makes fun of my head. Um, you know, he, he says all kinds of mean things to me, but he's a nice guy. He's always there for me and he's got a very sweet smile. So anyway, that's about it for me here. Uh, we talked about what a crater is. We talked about how they are formed by when uh, an object hits the surface, the object pushes the surface's material down and out and creates that crater-like uh, bowl-shaped cavity. That's important, that's in the assignment, so make sure you write that one down. All right, we also talked about does the, you know, does the ball, you know, cause a crater in the sand or does the sand cause the crater in the ball? The ball caused the crater. The ball has the force, the ball is dropped. Now, something you guys are gonna learn in high school, when I dropped, oh wow. Hey guys, I'm sorry. Um, I had to cut off right there. Wilson, he's just been so difficult this morning. Um, he was saying that he wanted to come back inside because his fingers hurt. He doesn't have any fingers. Um, but anyway, uh, Vil uh, Wilson and I had a really good time today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the lesson. Uh, remember the things we talked about. Uh, do the best on the assignment. You know, if you have any questions, please reach out. Uh, we just want to, I just want to remind you guys that, you know, we talked about what craters are, how they are formed, why they form different shape, uh, you know, sizes, uh, why they are seen more on the moon than on earth, um, and many other things. So, uh, Wilson learned some stuff. I learned some stuff. You know, I hope you guys learned some things and um, I really enjoyed it and I really hope you guys are well. Um, I will talk to you guys soon and have a great week. Bye. Wilson, say bye. Wilson, say bye. Bye. All right, see you guys.